going on guys we're model 88 here today it is ridiculously sunny out here hopefully this will come through nice um so i'm outside on the old back porch here a little bit of a breeze but today we are going to be doing a little something different um i guess you'd call it firearm related I am going to show you. I'm going to go down over the directions of this toy I've had for. I've had it for about two two years now. I don't use it much. It's kind of a novelty thing, but uh, it's a mini cannon. Uh, it shoots, uh, you know, the 177 BBs, just like a BB gun. Uh, of course, black powder comes with the fuse and everything. I'm going to show you how you do it. We're going to fire, you know, one or two rounds off of the mini cannon. I'm going to get stuff set up, get the old phone on the tripod here, and uh, we'll be back. I like that shirt. It's a good shirt. Don't be a victim. Stay tuned. I'm going to set this up. We'll be back with the mini cannon. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. So I got everything set up here. Um just gonna show you what I got. What came with this kit? This is a. Uh, the sun is terrible here, so I apologize. It is reflecting reflections. I can't see if I'm in frame. I think I am. I gotta hold my hand up here because the sun is like to the right of me, die and shining right down on. I kind of want to do this outside. I don't really have any other place to go. It's out of the sun here. But this is the miniature cannon uh, technologies. This is the Reenactor Three. Uh, Mini Cannon Tech is the company. I apologize for the sun. This is probably going to be a shitty video, but what's uh, what's new, um, <laughs> of course. But comes with a uh, this is your cleaning jag. You put this down in your in your fuse hole, uh, and just clean that out. You make sure. All the debris is out of there, which I just did that off camera. That's clean. Ramrod. <laughs> Ramrod indeed. Uh, obviously, you ram your rod into your bore, your cannon. Um, you can use a piece of paper to clean it out. It's clean. Um, Tons of fuses, three packs of, uh, I think they're about an inch and a half fuses. Comes with three packs of these. Uh, like I said, I apologize for the sun. This is terrible reflection. And it comes with a, uh, comes with a couple packs of these, you know, your normal BBs. Just normal 177 cal BBs. Uh, Comes with a little old fashioned looking carry pouch. Pretty cool. Of course, it comes with directions. Please read these. Um, well, uh, the most important thing. Two comes with a big container and a small container of black powder. Um, now, I was saying, read if you get these or whatever. Read, please read the directions. It's not that you know, this is not a fucking full size Civil War cannon, but uh, I mean, so you're, you're messing with black powder, regardless, you're messing with black powder and a flame. So, please, please. Read the directions. Don't try to be a smart ass and a manly man. Read the directions. I haven't shot this thing in probably two years. It's been in a climate controlled and hopefully the powder is not damp. We'll find out. But read the directions. I'm going to read the directions here. I know how to do it. I'm just going to read the directions. But So the first thing you do also it comes with a, uh, a little funnel. And a measuring scoop for your powder. Now, one, 
See how tiny this scoop is. Thank you, son. Hope that cloud stays there for the rest of this video. You see this tiny little, tiny little scoop. Now, one scoop of this is, uh, it's two and a half. Two and a half, each scoop is roughly two and a half greens. You want two of these, you want five greens per shot. So, I'll show you what to do first. Now, the first thing you do, let's get to it. First thing you do here is you take, take one of your fuses. They say about an inch long, you can cut it. But I'm just going to use, um, I'm just going to use one fuse because it's, it's roughly, it's, it's a little over an inch. It'll work. Now I say if you want, twist these before you insert them. And this is what you, the first thing you do, you want to clean it. And so the first thing you do, find your fuse hole. And you stick your fuse down. You'll, you'll feel it bottom out. You want your fuse in there before any powder, any paper wad, anything is in there. So the fuse is in. It, if it moves around, that's okay. Just the fuse is in. So that's step one. Now, <clears throat> step two obviously, first thing, wear glasses. Um, safety glasses, normal glasses sunglasses whatever just put glasses over your eyes you're you're not you're messing with black powder wear glasses um, so now it diffuses in now you will measure out your powder I have the directions here I'm reading them just to be safe on camera so what you want to do Take off your little black powder and be careful. This is black powder. You want two heaping scoops of this. So that's a heaping scoop to me. Now you want to take your funnel as a angled end. You want to put your funnel end into the muzzle of your cannon. It's hard to do with the uh, keeping frame, but bear with me. Now you want to tip it back. Take your one heaping scoop. Put it in there. You know, tilt your can tip your cannon up. So it goes all the way back towards the fuse. Your powder goes all the way back towards the fuse. Heaping scoop number two. So there's your five greens. Get it all in there. Set your scoop aside. Before you do anything else, put your cap back on your black powder, please. Do not expose that. Get it out of the way of any flame. That's going on here. So is this. Let's set the big, the big uh, bottle over there too. It's out of the way now. Take your, take your funnel, tap out the excess, give out a tap. You want your powder to come back. Obviously, you want it to surround your fuse. Now, next step. The next step is, let me read. Uh, black powder is supposed to be important in the muzzle of a can with a funnel and a full piece of paper. Can upright, use your ramrod. So yeah, you take your ramrod now. Get the level of the powder is between the trunnions and the vent. So you want between the trunnion, which is the the oh yeah, the trunnions are the barrel pivots. So these bronze pieces. Or your trunnion so you want it between your trunnion and the vent which is this so you want your powder in here this is where you want your powder so you take a ramrod tip her up and just 
yeah you don't you don't gotta use hawk smash for it so just tap it in make sure it's packed in packed in whoa just about lost the damn camera all right we're good I right, set your can in there next step next step is You want to tear off a piece of paper towel. Just any paper towel work, about the size of a quarter, roughly. No, it don't have to be exact. But, uh, roughly, um, like I said, just eye it up. That's about a quarter. There comes the sun again. And you want to roll it into a tightly compressed ball. Just take that piece of paper towel, roll it into a tightly compressed ball with your fingers. And then you want to insert it into the muzzle. Just like, just like you did your black powder. Compress it tight. Now, the wadding, it says the wadding should fit snugly in the bore. Use your ramrod to push the wadding down the bore. Push the wad up against the black powder to eliminate large air pockets in the black powder. Do not pound the wadding up against the black powder. It says tip, the tighter the wadding fits in the bore, the more pressure will be built up on the cannon fires, making the cannon louder and increasing muzzle velocity. Pounding the wad with the ramrod does not make the wadding fit tighter. The size of the piece of wadding you tear off will determine how tight it fits in the bore. So pretty simple, self-explanatory. Once that's watered up, hopefully this ain't too big, which it, I think it could be. That is too big of a piece. So I'm gonna unwrap this again. I'm gonna tear a little bit off. No big deal. I said, tear that off. Make it a little smaller. So I'm going to use this piece. When they say quarter size, that's a little big, in my opinion. Shove that in there. Take your ramrod. Push that back until you feel it bottom out and just slightly tap it. You don't need to hammer it down in. Just slightly tap it. Trying to get you guys out of the sun, but all right. So now we got that packed in there. Now the next trip or the next step, it's optional. You can use this. You don't have to use a BB, but we're firing a projectile. Who are we kidding? You can just use blanks. You know, you don't have to put a BB in, but this is where you put your BB. Take your 177 size BB. Um, Insert one round into the muzzle. Use the ramrod to gently seat the BB against the wadding. Do not pound or apply excessive force to the ramrod. Tear off a dime size piece of paper this time. Paper towel and insert it after inserting the projectile to prevent the projectile from rolling out. Use your ramrod to push this second piece of wadding down the bore till it is firmly seated against the projectile. Secondary wadding should not fit tightly in the bore. It is only there to keep the projectile in place. So it's just a uh, holding spot pretty much. Just a holding piece. So we get all this stuff out of the way because we're close to firing. Now, BB, insert BB, drop her down in there, take your ramrod, ramrod, lightly tap her down, a couple times, now next, next step, 
Take another little piece of rolled up paper. Put her down in. Ramrod. Ramrod in it. Till you feel the BB. Till you can feel it touch the BB. Gently tap it. So now what you got? You got your fuse. Then you got your powder. Your powder pushes against the fuse. So now your fuse is surrounded by black powder. Then you got your, your main wad up against the black powder. That's going to catch on fire. It's going to ignite the powder as well from the front end. Fuse is going to ignite the powder from the back end. You got a projectile BB in front of the first wad. Then you got a wad in front of the BB to secure it. So it's packed in a couple of slight little taps with the ramrod. That's ready to fire, folks. You got a loaded cannon. Now what you want to do, you get pussing glasses on, just black powder. Just You want to find this a suitable target. I'm going to shoot straight out in front of me. There's, well, there's nothing. It's just woods and trees, so that's where I'm shooting. <clears throat> Put on safety glasses. Make everyone make sure everyone is behind the cannon. Aim your cannon at the target. The cannon will recoil backwards, so make sure the cannon is not near the edge of the table. Do not try to prevent the cannon from recoiling, as this can cause damage to the carriage. Full-size cannons were designed to recoil freely to prevent damage. Same concept applies to the miniature cannon. It says tip, place a rolled up towel or rag 8 to 10 inches behind the cannon to stop the cannon from recoiling further. Make sure your face and all other parts of your body are not directly above the vent. Sparks and high velocity gases will exit through the vent or the fuses. It says light the fuse, fire the cannon, stand back to fire again and repeat the steps. So we're ready to fire. Try to get this in the middle of the frame. <clears throat> we'll set it there because I can't see it when it's in the middle because of my stand. So we're going to put it there so I can see it. Now what's going to happen when it shoots. This is coming this way. When it shoots it's going to boom. It's going to come back. And my stand is right here behind it. You can't see it. There you can see it, but that's where my stand is. So when it shoots, boom, it's going to come back. So what we're going to do, I'm going to tilt you back up a little bit. Let's see, I'm going to get down a little more. So we're about ready. We're going to fire this, guys. Yeah, you can see that. Hopefully the glare is not too fucking bad. But here we go. So, I'm going to tilt this down a little. Tilt the turret. And like I said, I did not shoot this lately, so hopefully it goes off. If not, we'll try her again. But, we'll set this piece of paper here for recoil purposes. And it does not knock my tripod over, but can we're gonna light this fuse right there. Hopefully the shadow's not there. See how it goes, guys. All right, there we go. I'm going to tilt this slightly. You guys still in frame? Still in frame. All right, guys. Here we go. Lighting in three, two, one. It's lit. Boom. <laughs> nice. Worked good. I'm glad. That was cool. I'll have to watch it back. It looked like I had decent recoil back. Everything come out. I can hear it hit in the woods, probably about 15 yards or so. Um, 
What do you guys think? Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to, like I said, it's functional. The wheels turn, turret, move turret a little, slightly. You can angle the, uh, the barrel of the cannon itself, so. Even has pins here, like they would back in the day. Um, it's neat. The wheels spin free. Uh, I'm gonna fire another one. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you so I don't take up too much time. But I'm gonna load her up again, and uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. Got her loaded up again. I'm gonna, gonna fire one more time. I'm sweating my ass off out here. The sun is burning me up. Do a little video on this cannon here quick for you. Gonna be a little something different, cool to do today. Uh, cool, um, not temperature, obviously, but just something a little different to do. So we're gonna lower the turret. We got it ready to roll. Got my backstop 